My heart was racing. I was having trouble breathing. I stood frozen. There's no doubt that this was a ghost. Oh, wow. I honestly believe the Backstrap Morgue is haunted. My ghost story began when I started working at the Baxter Avenue Morgue in Louisville, Kentucky. I am head of security there. During the 37 flood in Louisville, it was a backup morgue to the city morgue at the time because of the overflow. The basement of it is where the actual morgue used to be. Today, it's a haunted house attraction. <laughs> The haunted house opened in 2001. When you go through the doors, you just get a real eerie feeling. And I've actually had the hair stand up on the back of my neck. Sometimes you go in and it's fine, and other times you go in and it's like, nah, I'm gonna leave. I don't know, something's telling me not to be here tonight. I've had people come up, tell me that they've been touched when there's nobody around them. I've had people say they've seen a shadow move. Or countless people have heard voices. One lady actually said she saw a full-bodied apparition and it actually took a photo of it. You see a leg, an arm swinging like it's taking a step. It looks like a skeleton to me. Over the years, I had been hearing about the morgue being haunted. Many things have been captured. And there's this one picture, and there's no doubt you see a body but I needed my own evidence. One particular night, we were trying to capture ghosts. Where are you? I was starting to ask some questions, and I did get across a male voice that said, Lucian introduces. Lucian introduces. And I stood frozen because there's a gentleman who greets you during the haunted house tours, and his name is Lucian. Lucian introduces. I was absolutely in disbelief. There's no way I can explain how over a radio a name Lucian comes across. There's no doubt that this male voice was a ghost. He was confirming with me, you're in my place. A couple years ago, I was going through one of the rooms following a group. I turned around to go back to the spot where I was standing. When I got there, there was this face staring back at me. I could see the forehead, the eyes, the nose, the mouth, a little bit of the chin. My heart was racing. I was having trouble breathing. I felt like I was just getting ready to get in a fight. Then I'd heard that somebody had caught a photo of a floating face, and I seen the photo, and I was like, oh my god, that's the one I actually seen. I seen that face for real. It's a ghost, it's an apparition, the face is translucent. I could see through it. You could make out the eye holes where the nose was, the mouth. When I seen the picture, it's like it validated to me what I saw. It's actually in that building somewhere. I was at the morgue one night with a couple of friends, and we had a camera set up. We happened to catch this chair just completely fall over for no reason. When I saw the video, I thought, wow. It was like somebody does not want that chair there. You could tell that it actually got flipped. Nothing was attached to it or anything like that. Nobody was in the room. And you have to understand that there's, there's no wind, there's no windows, there's no fans, there's no reason for this chair to flip over that was completely stable on the ground. One evening, the staff at the morgue were having their own experiences of real ghosts while they're trying to haunt other people. We decided, hey, let's go in and do an investigation. Ted, he plays a character in the haunted house. He's told me he does not believe in ghosts, spirits, or anything like that. But he will actually antagonize them, try to get them to show their self. Come on, do something! Tad pretty much started screaming for this thing to come out and it did. Come on, quit being a little... All of a sudden, he goes to screaming bloody murder, saying it, scratching him. Yeah, I got touched, all right. My bad. 
immediately he pulled up his shirt. Holy Hold still. Get your camera. And you see six inches long of very prominent scratches. Oh, wow. On the video, they show the scratches. It looks like a claw mark. Well, it's got four fingers. I got news for you. And then when I actually talked to him, he showed me where the scar was at. He said, yeah, whatever's back here, claw me. I'm not going back in the graveyard again. And he had, he won't. He, you cannot get him in the graveyard. I had to question if this is something that I should be doing. What if a ghost comes home with me? I'm not about taking anything home from the morgue. After seeing all the videos, the pictures, the voice recordings, I honestly believe the Baxter Avenue morgue is haunted. I've actually got about 15 to 17 years working in haunted houses. And the Baxter Avenue morgue is the first haunted house I've worked at that's actually in a haunted building. Holy Hold still. The things that I've experienced and seen at the morgue make me question things about the afterlife. I have to wonder why are people still here? Why are ghosts here? What happened that they can't move on? Working at the morgue has changed my perspective on ghosts. It's made me be more aware that they're actually out there.